our world is getting hotter. Climate science has indicated rising global temperatures on the back of economic industrialization and global urbanization. In this year alone, heat waves, droughts and wildfires have scorched many cities around the world. And along with these record-breaking temperatures, the heat waves are lasting longer and occurring more frequently. Here's what heat looks like in a city. Not only do vehicles and industry give out heat, buildings and grey infrastructure also trap the heat from the sun during the day. The difference in temperature in urban areas in Singapore compared to less built-up areas can be as much as 4 to 7 degrees. Heat stress and prolonged exposure to elevated temperatures affect both health and well-being of us and those in the natural world. Heat also strains crucial infrastructure. Cities typically consume enormous amounts of energy for space cooling and air conditioning, which further contributes to global warming. But take a look at a tropical rainforest. Immediately, the temperature difference is obvious. The ambient temperature within a forest of trees and shrubs is remarkably lower than its urban counterpart of glass and steel. Like our cities, the forests are dense and home to many different kinds of organisms. However, unlike our built-up cities, the forest is built to manage heat. Maybe we should learn from nature. There's even a term for that. It's called biomimicry, or innovation inspired by nature. Biomimicry celebrates the fact that nature has been around for 3.8 billion years. And in this time, it has learned and developed strategies to thrive sustainably. BioC is an ecology and biomimicry design firm based in Singapore. Working with local and international collaborators, we are creating a toolkit to help design cooler building facades based on nature's innovations. And in nature, nothing is too small to learn from. In fact, we are learning from one of nature's tiniest architects, the termites. Termites live in large colonies that are sensitive to heat and humidity, so they need to regulate their nest temperatures and water levels. They do this by building intricate ventilation systems. BioC has studied these systems and have teamed up with SUTD and scientists from the UK to create breathable wall panels that improve building ventilation. In fact, we don't need to look that far for inspiration from nature. Our own skin cools us down through sweat and evaporation. Other organisms have other ingenious ways to cool down as well. Like the rough texture on the surfaces of elephant skins that provide shelf shading and improve water storage for the elephants to survive the savanna heat. Or the shells of desert beetles that have a combination of water attracting and water repelling structures all arranged to catch fog from the desert air. These are all kinds of ways other organisms manage heat. Heat is a problem that nature has to solve in many ingenious ways. And BioC is mimicking them to help build better, cooler buildings. In developing a biomimicry design toolkit, we want to initiate new thinking, approaches and ideas. This will help value add to Singapore and the region's sustainability ambitions to really help transition us to a low carbon and climate resilient future.